advertise, uh, uh, advertise one thing, January 13th in the afternoon, and the Papa Bear region will work with CLF, uh, CLUSA, and the Disney TV will have a, a forum here. We invite a few first time elected candidates, uh, elected officials, let them share the experience here. So everyone is welcome. Please wait for the microphone and make sure the green dot is on when you ask a question. No question? Wow. Okay, I'm going to talk at you from real close. Uh, you had uh, some pie charts um, about the APIA population in the state of Maryland. And I was really into it. I was trying to read it, and it was one of the slides that you zip through because you were trying to hurry through. And the first pie chart, there were several, the first pie chart uh, was uh, uh, foreign born, uh, born in the United States. There are three major segments and I, you know, I, I really wanted to get my head around that one. And I'm sure the other pie charts were uh, equally interesting. Could you please tell us more about what was on that particular slide? Uh, so the pie chart that you were referring to, um, Replay the pie chart, okay. answer to the question? Yeah, so what I was trying to demonstrate with this pie chart was that in trying to identify um, how many voters there were, how many voters there were in Maryland, uh, potential voters there were in Mar Maryland, I was trying to break down, because um, we don't know how many are registered, unregistered, uh, you know, who's eligible to be voters. But this doesn't break it down by by age, however. That's why I thought the more relevant. Right. 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 So, so the point here also is that our efforts need to be to naturalize you know, residents to be citizens, so then they're eligible to vote, and then once they're registered, we need to get them out to vote. Like me, I, just, I was born in China, but I mean, should be the mainstream still, I think should be still native born instead of the, the foreign people then neutralized as a United States citizen. So, yeah, I mean the data, still the data, so the native more is 27 percent only. Yeah, so United States native more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right, so native born, so like I was born in Colorado, so I'm considered native born Asian American. Right, right, right. But I mean that data for me, I thought it's just the two, two native born are too small. But I, I mean, but your data from AARP should be 
the, the right data, but for me, I still think it's, uh, I think there should be more native born than the foreign born then neutralized to the U.S. city, you know? Uh, oh, this is actually pretty consistent with national statistics. So our community is now about, Asian American community is about two thirds still foreign born. Wow. Yeah, two thirds nationally and in the state. This is from Maryland. Uh, uh, yeah, so the majority of the Asian American population, all ethnic groups are foreign, I mean, two thirds are foreign born. And, um, That's our demographic. I, I, I know what you would try to do as a social organization and get people to become citizens, which, which is absolutely terrific. But if you had limited time and limited resources, you know, coming at it from a political perspective, you would go for the low hanging fruit first, right. and you would address the U.S. citizens, both foreign born and and right. and uh, native born. Right, right, exactly. And I think one of the I, one of the things I didn't get to mention um, as a tactic that I that I wanted to put up there as an idea to float, which worked really really well, is um, there are several like Chinese American immigrant uh, residents who didn't know how to vote. You know, they didn't know because there's so many candidates, so many issues. And so one idea is that that I did is crowdsource. Um, so I belong to a, it's called MoCo Women, and it's a, it's a, a group across the, the county. And so we met for six hours. We broke it up into two evenings. We went through the entire list of candidates from the state, county, city. I mean, it was crazy. It was, it was like, I don't remember how many dozens of candidates it was, but um, the brain trust of all these different community leaders, we, they work so deeply in like land use planning or you know, education or whatever. And it was an ability for everybody just to make a comment and it wasn't that we were trying to unite together around certain candidates, but for everybody to be informed. And so that's one way so that it's, the process is not so intimidating, and it really worked. So I wanted to, to throw that out there as a, as a possibility for people to implement in their own communities. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. And also, uh, one apology that because of the rush, we're missing out one um, PowerPoint. And let me introduce uh, uh, Judge Mike Kwan, uh, Utah. And he, 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 even though he said he, he's the Utah uh, a Papa's chair, but I find his background, uh, I have a lot of uh, common resonance uh, that he involved with NWACP, La Raza, OCA, uh, local Chinese uh, organization, and a papa. So, so this give me like uh, a well rung a person who crossing all this ethnic boundary, but now he want to educate younger generation to 